Knife Joe. More Joe. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Man, oh man, I wanted to share this knife with you guys here uh, before we dive into this video. This was sent to me by one of my knife bros, the young pup, otherwise known as Mr. Westside. This is a uh, Kaiser T1, believe it or not. Heavily modded. He uh, had the tits removed in place of that uh, round hole. He also went ahead and um, had the blade and the handles blasted. Normally you would see a Kaiser logo right there, but due to the blasting that has since been removed and it has, it looks fucking great. Number one, you've got that fantastic Kaiser action, which we've all come to love. And I tell you what, this mod came out so good that it's got me, uh, it's got me thinking that I might want to do the same thing. I think I would go with like a pill shaped hole as opposed to the hole, as opposed to the round hole. But yeah, man, knife modding is where it's at, people. And as we speak, I've got several out there. So stay tuned for that. But that's not what we're here to talk about. No, no, no. We're here to talk about new friends and new knives. You see this right here? I ended up meeting uh, up with a fellow YouTuber over the uh, the last weekend. I was down in my old stomping grounds, Central Florida to be exact. And I linked up with, a, uh, with the infamous Beard of Doom, otherwise known as Kev. Uh, this was the first time we linked up and he actually gifted me this coin, which I thought was such a sweet gesture. It says, uh, demons behind me, and so is the past. And then yesterday is behind you, move forward today. God, well, you know, very eccentric individual. But that being said, we hit it off. We ended up uh, burning one together, allegedly, which is basically the um, international gesture for friendship. So it's official. We are now homies. Also, he ended up gifting me um, a couple of other things. This was one of them. This is, I believe, made out of mammoth bone. Mammoth tusk, maybe? Something like that. And these are actually made by another individual in the community. Uh, Mr. Joseph. God, I forget the last name right now. And I apologize, brother. I will be sure to put your information in the description. Got a lot of shit on my mind, man. But uh, this, and then he also gifted me another, uh, another, like a set of dice. I'll probably post them on my IG, and I'll put Joseph's account in there as well. But, you know, he came with gifts, came bearing gifts. So I thought that was such a nice thing by him, you know. I didn't expect, to, didn't expect him to come like that. But how we got to this point was I had reached out to Doom, and I had asked him to send me a couple of his knives that I was interested in checking out. So I hadn't had a chance to open them up yet. It just so happens we, had, we ended up meeting in person prior to me opening the box. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into these today. There should be two of them in here. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, Kaiser T1. God damn, this is, so, this is so good and came out looking, you know, it actually re is reminding me of a knife in my collection. I mean, spot on for the most part. Tell me that does not look like this Lamia, you know? Granted, you know, quite a bit cheaper, but it's got even better action, you know, due to um, Kaiser has dialed in these actions on these uh, on these knives, man. But also, quick note, this is going to be the last time you guys will see this Lamia on my channel. Uh, there has been some wheeling and dealing behind the scenes, so stay tuned to see what this Lamia actually uh, ended up getting me. She was here for a short time. Or how's that go? She wasn't here for a long time, but she was here for a good time. Okay, let's see what this maniac sent me. Or how uh, he may he, he told me to open this, make sure I open this shit up off on camera. So that probably tells you everything. Make sure I do not cut into anything that is in this package. So 
So we're going to be uh, very, very selective with how we actually cut into this as I'm fucking up everything in here. Okay, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Look at this. Look at this. He's got this shit taped to the bottom of the box. Now tell me my boy does not know how to pack that dope. He may have worked for a uh, nefarious organization at once or twice in his life, allegedly. God damn, my boy's got this shit taped down solid. All right, and then we still got more tape. And um, let's see what the fuck is going on here, buddy. Do, uh, do not open with scissors. Okay, you're going to love. Okay, let's see what it's. And the tape on this thing, people. He says not to use scissors. Well, I don't know how the fuck I'm supposed to get in this goddamn thing. There we go. There we go. Okay. This is what we got left. Let's clean up the mess. What the hell? What? <laughs> Look at this motherfucker, bro. The Jizz Rag of Doom. You dirty motherfucker. And then look at this. Lanyard the fuck up. This guy is insane. He knows how I feel about lanyards. And he is a lanyard advocate. So, um, yeah, that's why we have that. This motherfucker. Doom, don't ever change, bro. Don't ever change. Okay. Oh, god damn. He's actually got these fucking things tied together. Hold up, people. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hate to do it, buddy. But I got to cut this fucking lanyard. All right. Let's see. God damn. He's making me work for this shit, people. Let's see. How do I cut that one right there? I really hope he didn't mind that I had to cut this. But I, he did. He left me no choice. I'm sure he knew that was going to be the end result. Okay. We got two of them. This first one is uh, both of them are coming from the same company. Uh, this is the Freedom. This is from District 9 Knives. Now, I have never checked out any of the district knives, um, any of the knives from their catalog, uh, but this one in particularly had interested me. Number one, it's an integral, but more importantly, what drew me to this was I had, um, this knife is referred to as God's dick. I shit you not. If you Google district nine knives, God's dick, you'll dive down the rabbit hole, which is Reddit, and you'll see, uh. You'll see what it is I'm talking about. Now, these coming in at about $363. We've got this nice, uh, beautifully chamfered integral handle. Love the stonewash finish on it. We've got some, um, some proprietary hardware, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, but we've also got, check this out, nice springy clip. We are nice and centered. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy. We've got multiple forms of deployment. We've got this nice thumb disc as well as that fuller. And then we've got a front flipper. Love the way they chamfer that scale there or rather that uh, show side scale to allow us access to that thumb disc. Let's go ahead and deploy the knife. Okay. Now this is riding on washers. So the action is, you know, a little bit different, um, but definitely full size knife. This is coming in at eight inches overall. Of that, we've got 3.6 inches in this nice Tonto blade. 20 CV is the steel. Looks like we've got uh, dual flat grinds, flat there on the tip as well as your main bevel. Uh, make sure that is a flat. That is a flat. Now this is a frame lock. We've got tons of room. They did cut away that show side. Uh, they also went ahead and chamfered and also gave us some very nice jimping. That jimping feels great. So um, yeah. The action, of course, like I said, is washer action. So you got to keep that in mind. Uh, blade stock thickness on this is 157 thousandths. We've got uh, 4.8 ounces as far as your overall weight. Let's try that front flipper. Yeah. All, 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 uh, let's try this fuller. Now, to me, the fuller probably seems the hardest to get to. I think I prefer the, uh, the thumb disc for sure. Now, I've never, um, I've never seen this type of clip before. I think I've seen it on, you know, something that wasn't a pocket knife, but I don't think I've ever seen that on a pocket knife. And I really dig that. I wonder how that, um, how easy it is to get in and out the pocket. This appears to be an over travel stop. I thought for a second it may have, uh, oh, wait a minute. Okay. 
I think it I think it locks the uh I think this might lock your uh your lock bar in the open position. I I mean I'm I'm pretty sure it feels let's see. Okay, yeah, cuz it's got some arrows on it. Yeah, I ain't going to fuck with that too much. Yeah, I ain't going to fuck with it. Yeah, this has to um, you know, washer knives are very very um very very, you know, what's the word I'm looking for, god damn it? Sensitive. Either they're done well and they'll break in over time, which has been my experience with it, or you can just have one that just never seems to break in. I'm not too sure how much he's been fidgeting with this or using this, but um, in my opinion, this would be a perfect candidate for a bearing mod. Ergonomically feels great in the hand. No hot spots to speak of. Love these uh, cutouts there on the handle. Definitely has its own vibe. This is more like a uh, futuristic, hard-built, you know, Chinese folders. I think that's pretty much what Doom's uh, tastes are, or into these big, overbuilt, almost a sci-fi vibe to them. Some people may even say like a steampunk. Don't ask me what the fuck that means. I've just, I've heard that over the years. But yeah, man, big old knife. Let's go ahead and put up a couple comparisons to give you a better idea on the size of this, and then we'll dive into the second one. Uh, gotta roll with America first. We're gonna rock out with this one, the Spyderco Shaman. So there you see that. How about the uh, the only other tech roll I have in the collection at the moment is coming like this, CKF Mini Justice. So we can see the Freedom is actually bigger than the Mini Justice and a little bit smaller than the Shaman. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. More American vibes. We're going to rock out with the Hinderer Eclipse. So that freedom is uh, a tad smaller than that. Last but certainly not least, being sure to bring you some of them overbuilt vibes, we're going to go with the Chavez Street. So that freedom is bigger than that. You know, I really didn't know what to expect before getting this in my hand. I mean, it looked good on paper. Not really what I uh, what I'm drawn to, but I can I can appreciate the craftsmanship in this. You know, these are uh, coming from China. Do not know who the OEM is. As a matter of fact, I had read somewhere that this company is no longer manufacturing knives. Don't necessarily know how true that is. So if you know anything about that, please let me know in the comments. But that is the District Knives Freedom. Okay. This next one is also coming from District Knives, and this one is called the X1 Cutter. This appears to be like a utility cutter of some sort. Looks like we have this nice, uh, all titanium, by the way. We've got a slide here that's going to uh, propel the knife, or rather the blade forward. So there's that. What's this on the back? I wonder if this is a lock of some kind. Very easy to, uh, to slide that out. Now, he also mentioned that they, this has got like a lock or toggle switch here. So when you're in a closed position, you can hit off and then you don't ever got to worry about this like opening up in your pocket. Tons of millings going on here, you know. You can see they've cut away a lot and give us tons of mill. Oh, same type of pocket clip. So you get that springy pocket clip. Yeah, I, I am really digging those. What does it say here? It says uh, District 9 2020. I tried to get a little information on this one, and it was just coming back to, like, I don't know if these are manufactured anymore, but I couldn't get any information on it. Uh, Doom did tell me that there are several different blade shapes and uh, steel material that you can get to replace this. I don't necessarily know how hard it is to replace it. I'm assuming we probably undo that, that, uh, that wheel right there, right? Definitely, definitely unique. Um, I'm not big into the whole utility folders, or rather the utility knives. If I am, I usually just use a uh, Milwaukee Fastback. But let's go ahead and um, put up a couple of quick comparisons for you guys on this one to give you a better idea on the size of this, uh, I think it was uh, X1. First up, more American dope for your palate. We're going to go with this one, the Spyderco Pical. Love that damn Pical. So the X1 is close to the size of that. How about a recent acquisition, which has really impressed me, and that is the Microtech Socom Bravo Mini. So the uh, X1 is a little bit smaller than that. 
Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. Definitely, you should be familiar with this one. If you're not, get familiar. We're looking at the Hogue Decca version two. Don't get it fucked up. And so the X one is smaller than that. Last but certainly not least, the unofficial overseas knife of the channel. You've seen her before. You know her goddamn name. We're looking at the Echo by CJRB. And so the uh, X1 is a little bit smaller than that. Definitely, definitely out of the uh, the two District 9 knives, I am feeling, um, I guess I'm feeling the God's Dick, otherwise known as the Freedom. Integral, $363. I mean, you can't beat that price. Well built, 20 CV. Don't know anything about the company as far as the... Um, their, you know, how they perform their, their heat treats or anything to that nature. But as far as what it feels like in the hand, it feels really good. It feels nice and robust. Feels premium, you know? But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Are you a fan of uh, this crazy bastard? How about a District 9? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!